Oh, then I see Queen Mab hath been with you. She's the fairy's midwife, and she comes in shape no bigger than an agony stone on the forefinger of an alderman, drawn with a team of little atomy over men's noses as they lie asleep, or wagon spokes made of long spinner's legs to cover up the wings of grasshoppers, the traces of the smallest spider web, the collars in the moon's shines watery beam, her whip of cricket's bones the lash of film, her wagon are a small gray coated gnat not half so big as a round little worm, pricked from the lazy finger of a maid. Her chariot is an empty hazelnut made by the joiner squirrel or old grub, Time out, oh mine, the fairies, coachmakers, and in this state she gallops night by night through lovers' brains and they dream of love, and courtiers' knees that dream on curtsy street, over lawyers' fingers who straight dream on fees, over ladies' lips who straight on kisses dream, which off the angry mad with blisters and plague, because their breath with sweet meats tainted are. Sometimes. Gouts over a courtier's nose, and then dreams he is smelling out a sweet, and sometime comes she with a tight pig's tail, tickling a parson's nose as he lies asleep. Then he dreams of another benefit. Sometimes she driveth over a soldier's neck, and then dreams he cutting foreign throats of breeches, arrugados, Spanish blades, of helps five fathom deep, and then anon drums in his at which he starts and wakes, and being thus fretted, swears a prey to you and sleeps again. This is that very map that plates the manes of horses in the night, and baked the elf locks and foul sluttish hairs, which one untangled much misfortune bodes. This is the hag who made lie on their backs, that presses them and learns them first to bear, making them women of good carriage. This is she. But I gave everything